Hi there, it's Rowena List from gettingittogether.ca and today I'm going to share with you some tips on organizing underneath the kitchen sink. And so a lot of homes, you know what, they have so much stuff going on underneath their kitchen sink and it's just not necessary. It can become a catch-all. And really all you need underneath here are some of your cleaning supplies. And if you keep your cleaning supplies to using more natural ingredients, then you're going to not need to have so many things like baking soda is great for so many things in the cleaning department along with some vinegar and look at this nifty little tray that just pulls out from underneath your sink and then you push it back in and voila everything's organized having a small area for regular garbage and then uh, your area for some paper recycling and your bottle recycling. Now you might say, gosh, that's not a very big area, Rowena. I've got a big family. Well, you know what? You can take your garbage out on a more regular basis so that you are not accumulating so much stuff underneath the kitchen sink. You do not need to save every single paper bag or plastic bag that comes into your home. The other thing is keeping the actual kitchen sink nice and clear you know clear dishes get them put away don't have all kinds of rags and cloths and things hanging around maybe your favorite plant and of course some you know cleaning um, dishwashing soap right there and then the other thing too is if you're really curious as to where I keep my composting not underneath the kitchen sink absolutely not I don't like all those bugs and flies flying around I keep my composting right here in the freezer just in a small bag compostable bag and then that way I can take that out and it's rock hard frozen goes into the compost and no bugs are around so there you go if you are wanting any more details on getting organized and uh, tips to help you stay and be more uh, calm so you're not so overwhelmed Please check out gettingittogether.ca.